Yeah, I think we could we could move forward and talk about that that Houston game. I mean, this is they're on a run right now where the Seahawks are, where their schedule isn't the toughest for a while. I mean, coming up, you mentioned the Houston Texans at home. Um, you know, they had, the Texans have a rookie quarterback. J.J. Watt is out. I mean, that's a game where we should see more improvement from the Seattle offense as a whole, uh, more consistency from the Seattle defense. Uh, the Washington Redskins, I think that's a beatable team. At the Arizona Cardinals, they're they don't have a quarterback right now. Mm-hmm. You know, and I they mean, sure got walloped by the Rams on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. It's, what didn't they? Thirty three to zero. Yeah, mm-hmm. that, I mean, the Cardinals are, you know, even the Falcons coming up later in the year, um, Monday night game. The Falcons look terrible with Steve Sarkeesian calling plays for that offense. I mean, that's a stacked offense, and they look terrible. Yeah, I mean, they, they the Falcons going into Foxborough. Uh, it's never an easy place to win, and the Falcons saw how that played out Sunday night. Um, I still think the Falcons are one of those. They're, they're right in it right now for the NFC South because of how bad. I don't want to say how bad, but how mediocre that division is right now. Um, so I I think the Hawks schedule, Houston is uh, average. Um but I mean, the Redskins are contending for a division title in the East and maybe even a wild card spot. So I think we'll we'll see that start to pick up. Yes, the Cardinals don't look as good anymore because um, because of Carson Palmer going down. But that defense is still is still pretty dang good. Um, so it'll it'll be interesting to see how the Hawks do going forward. Um, we just signed Dwight Freeney. I don't know if you guys saw that. I yeah, did let's talk about um, that because our defensive line is. You know, it. They've seen their struggles uh, without Cliff Averill. Right now, they're only getting pressure on nine percent of pass plays, which is 16th right now um, in the NFL. So, I mean, the Seahawks probably saw that stat way before we did and noticed it. Um, but we signed Dwight Freeney, like I said, and it'll be interesting to see where he's at in his progression because he's coming in right now, like kind of kind of mid-season so it might it might be a few weeks before we see him really uh start to produce um but uh what, what are you guys thoughts on Dwight Freeney and the signing of that I'm not sure he's gonna make a huge impact other than just add some depth mm-hmm. to the D-line mm-hmm. I'm sure he's probably not gonna start and they might ease him in the first couple weeks but we might see him a little bit more end of the season mm-hmm. playoffs mm-hmm. Re- ready to make that playoff run Christian I think it shows that they're all in but it also shows that they are battling some injuries on that defensive line with Cliff Averill being out for maybe we forever. Know. Like, yeah. hey, you know, that's a tough one to lose. And then Michael Bennett dealing with plantar fasciitis, which I'm sure is probably one of the most annoying injuries to have to deal with when your your foot isn't right. So um, I think it shows they're all in, but I think it's also a little, a little scary in the fact that they're a little thin right now on the defensive line. Mm-hmm. And I mean... Their, their depth is going to be tested, and it's always tested in the NFL. Inju- injuries happen in football, and they happen every year. You just don't know when they're going to strike. Um, the Hawks have been pretty, I, I would say, healthy for the most part this this year. Um, but, yeah, that depth is going to be something to look at um, going forward. You guys think a 12-4 and four record is out of the question? You think that's attainable? Let me look at the schedule, but I don't. Just, uh, no, I don't think so. You, you, you don't like is it good enough to win the division yeah it's good enough for a one seed in the nfc right now that that's true that we're only a half game out of seahawks are a half game out of first the, the top seed in the nfc i mean everyone's lost to everyone yeah and i i mean i i, I see that continuing to happen um let's see we got texans uh, that that'll be a win especially at home deshaun watson is not going to be able to come into seattle and do what he's been able to do to be fair though i believe watson has the top uh qb passer rating right now in the nfl i I believe he does too he also has the most touchdowns right now at 15 um the washington that's another game at home hawks are are always good at home i see that as a win thursday night down in arizona that could be a struggle the hawks have never been a good a good road team so maybe they'll tie again that'd be exciting i I really hope they're gonna be they're gonna beat up on the Cardinals. The Cardinals don't have a quarterback. The defense is too good. Like, that's a wash. They're gonna beat the Cardinals bad on Thursday night. Okay. And at home at the end of the season, like it, 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 this team. Palmer has could a be soft, back for that game. S a w f t soft schedule to soft. close out the rest of the year. So, so you are you saying more than twelve and four or what? 
I'll put it at 12 and four. They're, look, I mean, okay, the Philadelphia game could be tough. I, yeah, I, I was going to say Jacksonville's defense is very good, and they could probably drop the game to LA at home. I'm going mean, to say those are the ones that look like are losable games, but for the rest of the way, it come on. This is this team is looking for a number one seed in the NFC. I'm gonna say, uh, twelve and four is is pretty good. I I say, the two losses we accrue through that is Philadelphia and Jacksonville, just because Jacksonville is at Jacksonville. It's a 10 a.m. start, which the Hawks have only seen. I don't think at all this this year. Um, so that's gonna be something different for them. Another big road trip to the East Coast. So I, I say, you know, 12 and four is pretty attainable. Um, 13 and three would even be better because that Philadelphia game at home. Obviously, it would be better. <laughs> yeah. Seth, what do you got? Seth, what do you got for? Then we got to go. I, I think they might drop one of their games to the Cardinals. Probably the one. What to the Cardinals? Okay. I think going. the Cardinals will be better once Palmer's back. I, I think. Oh, duh. <laughs> still got a, they still got AP. Oh my. They still okay. got a running Ooh. game. The Cardinals are a Adrian good Peterson, team. They, so they brought back the same offense, most of the same defense from last year. A very good team that went to the NFC Championship just a year or two ago. I think they might drop <laughs> one of those games, and I think they might uh, lose the one to the Rams at home. But other than that, I, I think they should go 12 and four, 11 and five at the worst. It's never yeah. easy to go on the road. Okay, we'll we'll see we'll see what happens.